doctor many years ago. I lost a lot of my family to polio. The noise is oppressive. Rotary International, UNICEF, CARE, World Health Organization, and local government public health organizations have teamed up with a common goal to eradicate polio in the world. This is an achievable goal, however, these dedicated teams are continuing to face countless challenges. This film will educate viewers about the global campaign to eradicate polio, the dreaded childhood disease that continues to cripple and kill. Smallpox eradicated in 1980 through vaccinations was the first infectious disease to ever be eliminated from the planet. Today, polio is on the verge of becoming the second such disease, eradicated thanks to the efforts of countless people. This video of a recent National Immunization Day conducted in India gives a basic snapshot of the campaign. In 2004, just after six days, Two million doses of vaccine was purchased. 167 million children were immunized. 191 million homes were visited. Thanks to India's strong and ongoing commitment to polio eradication, the disease could soon be assigned to history books. No child need ever again know the pain associated with polio paralysis. Here is the process that the Indian government, along with several thousand volunteers, are doing for the 2005 campaign. They do eradicate polio from the face of the globe. from New Zealand, which is quite some distance from India. And we've been looking forward to this for some months. To share our money and our friendship and our kindness to all people from India. We make money for you, but now we really want to participate in making your uh, children healthy. Good luck, good health, and everything best. Big pleasure for India. And you people from all over the world, have come here. I want every child from India must not have this disease, this handicap disease. And I am thankful to you once again for this time cooperation. Thank you. Namaste from India. Day 2, November 27th, Polio Vaccination Day. Rotary members from the District 5060 purchased pens, notebooks, pencils and erasers to hand out during the day. The Tuk Tuks are ready to take Rotary member teams to vaccination clinic locations close to the Agra District Hospital. The first day is called the Booth Day, set up at fixed sites around the community, schools, markets, village squares, mosques or temples. Parents can bring their children to such a booth for their immunizations. <laughs> Subsequent days of the NID are known as House to House Days. Vaccinators travel throughout all communities across India to visit each house in efforts to immunize any further children who may not have been immunized during the booth day. All in all, in 2004, more than 191 million homes were visited. <laughs> hey Karen, it's about 10:30. Uh, How many children have we? Uh, We've had. Uh, and what's your goal for today? Children who are immunized are finger marked. The ink will remain visible for two weeks. In 2004, more than 167 million children were immunized during the booth day and the house to house activities. So we got on the tuk tuk with our 
vaccines and our little gifts and headed out down the streets. A small hospital, the front entrance, and we had uh, two student nurses and a teacher. We were able to assist them considering um, what they have, the volume of people and the different stations and the volume of children. Uh, probably it, it was well organized. And we're jammed in with one, two, three, four, five. Five people on the same tuk tuk. Mop up operation. So here's a door to door campaign. We're visiting each home in this uh, particular area of Agro. And the healthcare professionals go in and visit with each family. And here we are marking the home to indicate when the vaccination was done, just to ensure that we don't do double. This family seems to consist of several children and a mother that's living in a home. What we're doing is interviewing the mother of the chi children that live here. And what they're going to be doing is filling out immunization cards to uh, initiate the immunization programs, not just for polio, but other diseases as well. To start this process, each morning vaccinators meet at local health posts with their supervisors. Together, they micro-plan. The microplans clearly indicate which areas and which houses are to be covered by individual vaccination teams. This way, vaccinators know precisely where they will need to go and which houses to visit. Little Mark and a reward. Being in this community has really caused a commotion for everyone, not just because of the immunization, but because we are here as well. And as a result, all the children have come out, they've come to uh, look at what we're doing. This is a home that refused to have the vaccination done, so they've received an X on their home and a religious leader will have to come back and see the movie. Sometimes parents are reluctant to allow their children to be immunized. The reluctance stems from a number of reasons, including lack of access to other health services and false rumors that the polio vaccine may not be safe. Strong strides have been made in overcoming resistance and reassuring families who may have concerns about the importance of polio immunizations. Individuals or groups who may have an influence over a local population are engaged to help overcome resistance. Comes out to see us, even the dogs. Thanks to such efforts, the uptake of polio vaccination over the past years has increased dramatically. Good. Very good job. Today we had the mop up for the Polio Plus and it was just a fantastic experience all round. It was well organized. We immunized our team, I think 89 children in a very small area and we were just sure we made a really big difference in their lives. Uh, we went door to door and they were very persistent. They talked to the neighbors, they banged on every door trying to make sure they knew how many kids were there. Uh, they marked on the walls if the children were already done or if they weren't able, if they weren't home, they had a different code. So that they were keeping track of every child in the different streets that we were in and then we were immunizing all that we found that didn't have the mark on their left hand to show they'd been immunized.
I was incredibly impressed with how efficient the young people we were with uh, were. To just give money is one thing. To be able to come and see the money at work uh, is another. The most wonderful part is the children that we gave the polio vaccine to. It's so great, so great to know that those children will never get polio now. And that is something I cannot describe. It's such a wonderful feeling. I was just overwhelmed by the amount of people here willing to fly from all over the world to participate in this final day of eradication effort. Any words of encouragement to other Rotarians that maybe can't come here today? All it takes is $5 a week. Give it to your club secretary or your treasurer and have it designated to polio eradication.